So we got our Esquif massage there today, and we're going to be putting on some skid plates. The old bottom there is getting some dings and scratches and everything on it from getting used, and that's why I bought it for it, was to get used and do some exploring some unknown rivers, or rivers that are not normally covered here in Nova Scotia. So that's where I find the adventure is. So prepping for skid plates on my Esquif. Okay. First things first, you want to measure down 11 inches from the top of the bow. So, get a Sharpie marker, and just put a simple mark. Some people say the water line, I'm looking at this, you know, 11 inches, and there's a video on YouTube from Novacraft also, and they also say 11 inches, so we're going to go with the 11. So first thing, mark where the front of the skid plate is going to come down onto the bow of the canoe. So once you come down the 11 inches, you put your felt on it with the rough side up. One side of the Kevlar felt is smooth, one side is rough. Make sure the rough side's up. Okay, so you put your felt on and you taped it off. You got your 11 inches up from the end of your bow. Tape it all off and then we're going to tape it off with plastic to save any dripping down onto the hull. Everything's plastic off now. I just use garbage bags. You can use plastic, you can use newspaper, you can do, use whatever you want. So now what you're going to do is, with the kit that I bought, it comes with a 50 grit sandpaper. So you have to sand this down so you get a good adhesion of the epoxy. Everything's nice and clean. So hopefully it turns out, this is the first time I've actually put one of these onto a canoe. So, all my dice, follow my instructions, and hopefully she all turns out. So I got the first one on. I put the epoxy on, and they're actually pretty generous with the amount that they give you. I used the majority of it in that, well saturated it, got all the air bubbles out of it, smoothed it out, stretched it out, and all the other stuff according to the directions left about well they say eighth of an inch along the edge I left I don't know probably quarter inch but hey I'm not gonna start getting that picky so anyway we'll see how it goes we'll let that dry now and see how it comes out hopefully it doesn't let go halfway through a canoe trip that I have to rip it off or cut it off so time will tell anyway it seems to be going good so far so there it is, the front and rear skid plates have been installed. They're setting up just a little bit right now. I've peeled the tape off. And there's no more dripping or anything like that. So we will let that cure. But I think that's going to do the trick. There's no running or anything like that. And overall they're pretty easy to do. If you've ever done body work, you can do these no problem big thing is is prep making sure you do the proper preparation for them and as I said earlier they're pretty generous with the the uh, hardener and resin in that so I still had a little bit left over so I kept it just doing final touch-ups after this hardens so anyway here it is my Esquif, front and rear skid plates, put on for river running and exploring. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment down below. Okay, take care everyone, and maybe we'll see you in the woods.